Hey guys, what's up? Got a different project. Uh, it's not Project Why Not. It's dealing with my wheel horse workhorse. The workhorse GT1800 or the wheel horse 300 or the 400 series models. Well, that trailer I built. Um, my dad and I were using it over the weekend. I don't know if you guys seen the pictures on Google Plus or not. I posted the trailer hitch busted right off the back end of them. Or the sleeve hitch, whatever you want to call these hitches. Well, it couldn't hold the weight. Not because the trailer was heavy, it was well balanced, but the sheer uh, pressure pushing down on it popped the but busted the wells right off from this. And it bent the hitch. So what we're working on, if you can tell. See my snow blade setup? They're disconnected. There's part of it right there. And then you see a bunch of steel. Well, what I'm building is a new um, trailer hitch for it. Straight across. That's why I'm not recording it. It took me pretty much about seven hours to figure out how to build it going across that axle because it's not level. It's a little. This side's a little higher than that side. That side's a little lower than this side. But what we got, this is a adapter from a, for a two inch sleeve, but it fits a two and a half. Fits into a two and a half to a two inch. So you can downsize it. Um, I believe that's how that works. I don't really know what they're for, but what this is gonna be, imagine the hitch sits up under here like this somehow and then you have your two inch drop tongue that comes down pretty level with this so I can hook to be back in a minute alright guys this is the next day we're back um, what I was talking about on the hitch assembly here's the one that broke I bent, bent it and broke the weld right off you can see where it was partially welded there and they had a piece of weld there. It was already going to break anyways. Yeah, there you go. It wasn't holding on too well, guys. So, this is a co combination I made up. I will weld these, this part up first. And then I'll figure out where the bar needs to sit. You guys probably don't need it. You guys don't need to see me weld this up. You guys pretty much know how I'm going to weld it so um, for those who are wondering these sidebars if you guys got the wheel horse or work horse like I said either or don't really matter these are six inches long both of these pieces and the screw hole where the top of the screw hole is at to the top of that is an inch and a half it should be an inch and a half on the bottom, yeah. It's an inch and a half on both sides. And I got as centered as I could on both sides, so the width of the tape measure on both sides that work. Uh, these pieces here are two inches. Let's just go up over this. Just wide enough for this quarter inch by two inch by two inch angle iron that I have. So I'm going to get these cleaned up and then weld it, and we'll be back in a few. And oh, one more thing before I let you guys go. Uh, this is sitting at a half an inch down. Yeah, it'll be a half an inch down. So that's where we're sitting at. Catch you guys in the field. Alright, guys, we're back. I got these welded up. They might not look like the prettiest weld of, the, of it, but they really hold. So. What we need to do, ouch, is get down first. I just had a busy mowing, see, mowing day today. There is a left and a right on these uh, things, so just remember when you guys do this, there is a left and a right. Jesus, guys. There we go. It should sit pretty even on the rider. So I'll have to bolt them in. 
These are still a little toasty warm, guys. Good enough for mock up. Now we should be able to now. Still can't clear the dry shaft, the axle. But that's easy to take care of. We'll just back it off a little bit. And we'll just space put a washers behind it. Let me make sure that we're setting all the way back on this axle over here. Now we are. I think we can shim it out. Almost acts like a thickness of a washer. What we need a nope thicker than that. Probably two of them. Yep, two two washers gonna have to do it so I got some three sixteenths I think. I'm hoping I have some quarter inch. But I think three it that looks like a three sixteenths. Looks like a three sixteenths gap's what I need to fill in. But I know roughly where this bar needs to sit now. So I'm just gonna leave myself probably Yeah, so I'll go up by hair, and then probably over by hair. Yep, you go up by hair and over by hair, so you just leave a little gap. So that's how we're going to mock it up, and then we'll be back when I get it done. See you guys in a few. Alright guys, there it is. Uh, all bolted up. Next thing's going to be that receiver tube. Um, freaking hot, just came, just got done welding on it. So we're just going to mock it up. Make sure it clears everything. I don't feel no rocking, that's good guys. Oops, sorry. I don't, it all hitting against the back of the transmission, which is a good, very good sign. So I was flying right against it. So we're going to just pull it pull apart and we're going to weld the receiver tube on it. So we'll be back when I get the receiver tube on. Catch you guys in a few then. See ya. Alright guys, I should explain something else. This bar is 14 inches long. I didn't explain that to you guys. I don't think I did. I think I was talking about the brackets back here. This is 14, so half 14, 7. And then we got to find, uh, I believe this should be a two inch tube, I think, two and a half, so, uh, it's one, 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 da, 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 one and a quarter, so it'll be one and a quarter, so it'll be one and a quarter, should be the half way mark, yeah, one and a quarter. So it's two and a half, so it won't be one and a, one and a quarter if you're using this receiving tube right here. For that company. ACME 6 inch receiver tube. And there's your part number, made in China of course. So we'll be back when I get this mocked up and tacked. Alright guys, there's part of it mocked up. Another thing is if you don't want to do all the mess like I did 
from this edge to here is five and three quarters from here to there is five and three quarters and just grind if you're using this black one I wish they had one that non painted which I found one in like an inch uh, too but very hard to find hitches for them but just grind them back and just weld it so an L shape weld then come in the back and weld as best you can and then underneath the tubing clean it up paint it prime it paint it you never know so I'll be back later guys what's happening guys um got it on yep it's not perfectly straight so this side is a little higher I accidentally weld that side a little higher than that side uh, things have changed thicker than uh, 2 by 2 square tubing I would have went with like a 3 by 3 quarter inch square to uh, angle iron been a whole lot better because there's hardly any room to get that boat in and that boat in but we got in after an hour of a fight um yeah so it's on it got that hitch and that hitch now um if i have any problems i'm going to go from here up to here to support it I'm going to run support beam bars right across so that way there that problems take care of So, other than that, catch you guys later then. See ya. Have fun. Alright guys, I can't leave you hanging. There's what it looks like when it's fully installed. I don't think that 2 inch drop is good enough. I think I'm going to have to build a 3 inch. Either buy a 3 inch, if I can find them, or build a 3 inch drop. Uh, but yeah, I still got plenty of clearance to run any attachment underneath. So it's perfect clearance to go underneath, run anything I need to pull behind me, plus my ball hitch. So, like I said, if I have any problems, I'll let you guys know, but I think that's going to be perfect, guys. Catch you guys later then. See ya.